Wanderers, we are back. Remnant 2 second DLC, The Forgotten Kingdom has finally been revealed. And guess what? We're not gonna have to wait long before we're using the World Stone to travel back to Yesha and explore an entirely new part of the world. However, before we get too deep, let's take a look at the trailer and combine what we know from the official announcement article with what we're seeing here and break it all down. I have searched this jungle high and low. And what did I find? I'd learned of the lost tribe's fate and the ancient power that sealed it. The living stones. Such power. I'll find you, my lost tribe. My brethren. I am so close to the truth. I will not give up. I cannot wait to dive back into this game, but before we do, let's go over the basics. Remnant 2's second DLC, The Forgotten Kingdom, launches on April 23rd for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. If you bought the Ultimate Edition of Remnant 2, you won't have to pay anything extra for the DLC, but if you just bought the base game, you can purchase The Forgotten Kingdom for $9.99, or if you haven't purchased either DLC 1 or 2, you can get a bundle which gives you access to The Awakened King, the first DLC, The Forgotten Kingdom, the second DLC, and then the third DLC when it eventually releases later on down the road. But that's enough about that because we have new content to break down. In the Forgotten Kingdom, players will piece together the forgotten history of the Lost Tribe of Yesha as they attempt to quell the vengeful wrath of an ancient stone spirit called Ledusa. Players will navigate the lingering traces of torment, treachery, and death that haunts the land's once proud ziggurats as Ledusa's living stones wander the crumbling remnants of an ancient civilization in search of fresh blood. Sounds inviting. We get a great look at many of these once proud ziggurats throughout the trailer, and it seems like the team is keeping with the theme of these massive Yesha temples and structures. We saw that on full display with the Eternal Empress storyline, and it's fun to see them leaning back that direction, but with a twist. The Living Stone are clearly being set up as a new sort of enemy faction within Yesha that will have to face exclusively as part of this content. Yes, they are part of Yesha's world, but it's clear they're unique to this storyline. We get a great look at one such enemy here, which in my estimation is a new boss. I don't think he's the big bad of the DLC. I think that's Ledusa, but he certainly checks off all the boxes and you can really see the twisted influence of both the pan and the magic that brought this stone to life. That's honestly my biggest question going into the DLC from a lore perspective. How did the living stone come to be and what sort of magic did this lost tribe engage in that brought these creatures to life? We see a couple of other living stone enemies throughout the trailer, but the team isn't giving away much, as is their nature. First are these walking urns, looking like something out of a nightmare, as well as these floating enchanted armor sets. There looks to be a bit of variability with this enemy in particular, so I'd imagine we'll see quite a few different enemies that all sort of embody this look and feel. I'd be remiss if I also didn't point out the root, nothing new here, as well as this strange flying creature. We see it a few times throughout the trailer and then eventually in action, dive bombing the player. These don't seem to be common enemies like some of the Living Stone, so I'm excited to learn more about them once we go hands on ourselves. What we also learn is that a new archetype is coming to the game. Our buddy Tragic, principal designer on Remnant 2, teased this the other day on Twitter, but now we know that the Invoker is coming to the game. We haven't seen anything about this archetype yet, but we do know that the Invoker draws strength from the nature spirits of Yesha. This new archetype can harness the mystic powers of the jungle. The article states that more details on the archetype will be revealed in a new Invoker reveal trailer sometime the week of April 15th. There's just a couple more things I wanna point out, starting with this shot here. No, I'm not talking about the walking urns again. I'm talking about the mural on the door behind the enemies. That is not the Eternal Empress, as far as I know. 
I do think this is Ledusa, and it really speaks to my excitement for new secrets because if there's a team that knows how to weave environmental secrets and storytelling into the world, it's Gunfire Games. I also think this wide shot here is really interesting. A mural depicting the arrival of a massive boat, as well as a pan ritual on the right side of the wall. There's also emphasis on a small tree, which is the only other element that's in red, which is why I think it's significant in this case. Either way, there is absolutely something here that we'll need to uncover, and I think it all revolves around Ledusa, so don't forget that once you dive into the DLC. Finally, I wanted to touch on some new gear because you bet Remnant 2's team teased a whole bunch of it during the trailer. First is this assault rifle shown briefly here. At first glance, it looks like the Chicago typewriter, but it's clearly something different. It's almost certainly a fully automatic weapon, but we'll reserve judgment until we go hands-on ourselves. In the very next shot, we get a glimpse at a huge two-handed staff pulsing with electrical energy. I'm not a big melee guy, but this thing looks pretty epic, with wide sweeping attacks and a lightning enchantment that certainly kicks things up a notch. Of course, there's also this incredible crossbow weapon revealed at the end of the trailer, and it just left me gawking. One, because I love all things archery, that's just who I am, but also the sheer size and ridiculousness of the weapon. It's essentially three crossbows stacked on top of one another, and that means it's more viable during hectic moments because you'll most likely have a faster rate of fire. I am simply guessing based on the visual design of the weapon, but I'm pretty confident my gut is right here. I also want to point out the awesome new armor set the character is wearing in this shot. If I were to guess, this is the set players will unlock after defeating the DLC's boss, and the visage is strikingly similar to the woman's painting on the door. All roads point to Ledusa being the end boss, but we will have to wait and see. Friends, I am so excited about Remnant 2. We knew the next DLC was coming, but to have it just a couple weeks away is huge. If you recently discovered the channel and you haven't checked out Remnant 2 yet, I implore you to give it a look, because it's still one of our favorite games of the last few years. Brutally hard, if you want it to be, superior gameplay systems and secret finding, and a ton of loot to uncover. It's everything we love in our video games. The Forgotten Kingdom is just a few weeks away, friends, so if you're excited about the DLC, let us know what you're looking forward to in the comment section below, and as always, keep it right here if you want more videos like this in your feed. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.